everybody for another uh, afternoon edition of Dr. Jill Live. I have a really special guest from across the world today from Prague, and I can't wait to share the information today um, that he has, that his company, some of the things that they're doing to help us with electromagnetic frequency that's affecting all of us in our environment. And actually, as we were discussing right before we came on, sometimes more, I think it affects the mold and the virulence of viruses and some of these things that we maybe aren't even completely measuring, but in a decade, we're going to really find out all of the things that um, that we've done to our environment through chemicals and EMFs, et cetera. So um, just a little housekeeping, you know, you can find me at jillcarnahan.com, all kinds of free resources there. Um, at Dr. Jill Health, um, you can find uh, products and services and things like that. Um, and if you haven't seen my products, we love page. It's on my website under retail. You can also just search Dr. Jill products we love. Um, Somavetic, which is one of the products we're going to talk about today, is there along with some of my other very favorite things. And I'm a real stickler for the kinds of things I promote. Um, I do not uh, use anything or even talk about anything unless I love it and I feel a difference. So you can always count on me to give you the real scoop because there's been a lot of companies that have approached me or that I've talked about their, uh, you know, talked to them about their products and I would never promote them because I wouldn't use them myself. So you always know if I'm talking about something, it's just out of the genuineness of my heart because I've found an effect and a, and a benefit of that. And that's no different today. Um, on the YouTube channel, you can find almost 90 episodes. If you haven't seen some of my other episodes, they're all there. Just uh, search Jill Carnahan on YouTube and you'll see Dr. Jill live playlist with loads and loads of uh, interviews there. So I will introduce my guests all the way from Prague. Um, we had to arrange this a little different time for me because we had to make sure he wasn't sleeping in the middle of the night, like a 2 a.m. interview. <laughs> so I think it's, what time is it there, Yura? Uh, it's uh, it's 8.20 now, 8.20 p.m., yeah. Reasonable, at least, before I think yeah, I have yeah. to do like a 3 a.m. interview, <laughs> right? So yeah, yeah, we were scheduled for, for 3 a.m., yes. <laughs> I know that's not right. We, you need your sleep too. So today we're going to be talking about some ways to create coherent energy in a world of EMFs. And I'll tell you in a moment how I met Yuri, um, because it was a fun uh, meeting by chance. And then um, kind of the story, the science behind Soma Vedic, his company, and uh, and what I found with his products. Um, Jurid, uh, Co how do you say your last name? It's uh, Kochar. Kochar. Yuri Kochar. Kochar. Am I saying that correct? Yes, yes. Like, yes. <laughs> so, M awesome, Yuri Kochar. Um, he's an endless optimist. You know, I'm um, very energetic and intuitive, and I remember meeting him and just the, his face light lit up with a smile, and I I knew there was something special. Um, and again, I'll tell you in a moment where we met. But he is an endless optimist. I've known that, and even the short time knowing him passion to build and grow projects with meaning and purpose, just like me. He's the CEO of Soma Vedic and currently working on his dream project. Um, this science-based and broadly accessible frequency therapy device is helping people in the office and home environment to have more energy, mental clarity, and focus during the day. And like I said, I was delighted. We actually met at uh, Dave Asprey's uh, biohacking um, conference in uh, Florida last fall. Um, we had to test for COVID as moment we walked in and then we did actually have a really successful big conference. And from what I heard, there was not one person who was affected by COVID, even though it was a pretty large group of people meeting. So that was yeah. really neat that that was successfully pulled off. I thought they did a great job of really making everyone safe. And also, um, you know, all of us that come are pretty health conscious. So we've got our ways. So we met in Dave's VIP dinner and just were chatting over a glass of wine, I think. Um, I don't usually drink much, but I usually carry one around and have a sip just so that I'm not not too awkward. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm the same. <laughs> Yeah, so I'm yeah. like one sip of that was all I needed. But it was really fun to meet you and Casper, I believe. And I don't know, you two had known each other and to hear about your company because I'm always looking for um, new things to help myself and my patients. I'm kind of a biohacker. Um, and so I'm always looking for things. And like I said in the beginning, I'll quickly tell my story with your product and then I'll let you go. Um, so you sure. sent me one to try and thank you for that. And um, I always track my bio, um, you know, rhythms with my ring, my aura ring. There's other ways to do that. I love that because you can see heart rate variability, amount of deep sleep, um, your uh, breath rate, your heart rate, your, um, you know, resting heart rate, all those things. And so I track that. And part of my interventions is very 
science-based because say I use something with energetic frequency, I want to know, does this really affect me or is it just all in my head, right? So my experience with this was like this weird little globe. What is it? And I'll show you what it looks like. This is the one that I have. It's um, yeah. the amber and I love it. <laughs> and it's not plugged in because yeah, I pulled it. Plugged in. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, and his is plugged in. Mine, I just pulled over from the plug. So normally mine is lit up at the bottom too and plugged in. I was like, what is this little thing? And again, I can't wait to hear what you have to tell us about it. But my experience was I put it in my bedroom and for the first time, my heart rate variability, um, it uh, went 1.5 times what it normally was. And I obviously track that. I do lots of other interventions and my deep sleep was um, better as well. And the only thing I've really seen to affect that prior to using this was PEMF. So I love my PEMF mat and I use that regularly, but this, um, the PEMF really increased my deep sleep. I would sometimes get literally 40, 50, 60% of my night deep sleep, which meant there was times when I could actually get five, five and a half hours of sleep and get so many hours, like three hours of deep that I'd wake up completely refreshed. And this, like I said, the thing that I saw was heart rate variability, which we'll talk a little bit about that. I don't want to spend the time now, but um, I was like, okay, there is something going on. And then the second night, same thing, third night, same thing. So I had three interventions that really changed. And since I've been using this, I think we met in December, uh, was it October, October. So yeah, I've probably yeah. been using this for two months. Um, my heart rate variability average is the highest it's ever been. So that's my story. I want to hear from you. First of all, how did you start the company? How did you get it? Tell us, go way back as far as your history. And, and you have obviously a dream for things with purpose and meaning like I do. So how did you get into Soma Vedic? Yeah. So, so first of all, thank you. Thank you for having me, Dr. Jill. It's, it's really like, like an honor. And then even at the, at, at the conference, uh, I was, I was uh, so glad that I was able to talk to you and, and, and yeah, you're such a, such a radiant person and nice, nice talking <laughs> to you. So Yes, so uh, I'm I'm the CEO uh, of of some of Edic Technologies, uh, but my dear friend actually started the company. He's the brain behind it. So so, but there's a there's a very interesting story behind uh, behind the the, the sum of Edic as. He was struggling with his with his uh, with his health, uh, with you no know, organ failures and 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 lupus and and various different things, but uh, yeah, doctors were not able to 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 help him. So he started you know st to study like Chinese and Ayurvedic medicine and different healing uh, uh, like properties of precious stones and minerals. And uh, after what some time, say, what did you say his health condition was? I didn't catch that that, that he had some health issues. Uh, yeah, well, uh, he had some uh, some problems with uh, with liver and and detox and and lupus. So, okay, so yeah, lupus. I want to make sure because our yeah. listeners will relevant. And then you started to say he started to look into crystals. So go on. Yes, 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 exactly. So he started to to look into you know, uh, into uh, the East, uh, how, how on the, how basically the, was, what are the, the traditions in, in Asia, you know, like uh, how they are uh, like healing these, these, uh, these, uh, this, not only symptoms, but, right? Yeah, 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 exactly. So he was deep diving into, into various, very various books and, uh, he was able, uh, eventually, you know, to, to heal himself. So after 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 that that he was successful, he was helping uh, his friends and family. Uh, well, and and that that was working as well. And he's not a he's not a doctor. I mean, he's a, he's an IT guy and mathematician, you know. So, but he was just doing it from from his own experience and because he wanted to help like uh, his his uh, his relatives. So, so. Yeah, and and again, after some time, he he was he he found out that uh, lots of these problems are caused by EMFs and and geopathic zones and and things like that. So so he was thinking about like how to put together a device that would mitigate these effects. And uh, and the first thing that came to his mind was to turn to the uh, precious stones and minerals that he had experience with, and so so he developed basically uh, like a frequency therapy technology with a 
special like combination of precious stones and minerals that are working uh, with each other and amplifying each other. So these, this unique combination is creating is the core of Samovedic. It's, it's what, what, what Samovedic is. So inside each of the Samovedic, as, as you showed, are there are physically inside various, uh, various uh, precious stones and minerals and then precious metals. So in a, in a nutshell, that's, that's how the Samovedic came to be in 2010. In April, in April 2010, uh, the very first unit uh, device was was born, and uh, yeah. So we, last year we celebrated. We had a tenth anniversary, oh. and uh, we entered the U.S. market in 2019. Wow. Yeah, I was so excited. And again, I'm I'm a little skeptical because I like the science, but I also know that there's things that kind of are outside the realm of our typical, um, you know, Newtonian yeah. physics. It's more in the quantum level. And these things are real. And you guys have heard me talk about some of the bioenergetic devices like the, that I wear. And those are similar. They actually contain gold and precious metals. So I understand this. And if you think about your teeth, when you get fillings and if you get like a metal crown here and a, another crown here, you have these charges that some people have massive health effects because they have different metals in their mouth and they're interacting. And this is, again, very simplistic because I'm not the expert on some of this, but um, in my mind, it makes perfect sense because you're having charges. And in this case, it's coherence. Yes. These metals. yes. And it makes so much sense to me that it would affect my heart rate variability because we talk about heart rate coherence. So yes. just if you haven't heard of heart rate variability, Heart Math is a great program to learn about it and to actually practice. Um, you can get that online or whatever. But um, the thing about heart rate variability, this is what helped me to understand. So 20 years ago, when I first started family medicine, I was delivering babies. And believe it or not, I did all, I delivered 200 babies in my first year. And one of the things we would do is a heart rate monitor for the mother intrauterine for the baby. And whether you know it or not, that is heart rate variability. So it's beat to beat variability. And we would track the baby's health and well being inside in utero by watching the heart monitor because it, would sh it should have this kind of beautiful sinusoidal curve where there's good variability. Um, if it's real spiky and um, not coherent, we call that, um, the alarm would uh, go off and we'd have to take that mother to C-section because we knew the baby was in distress. So we've used this technology for decades in labor and delivery to check baby's health and decide when they are not okay, when they're in you know, fight or flight, when their sympathetic system is in overdrive because of maybe they can't get oxygen or a cord's wrapped around their neck or something like that. And that's our decision basis to take them to the OR to do a C-section. So that makes perfect sense. Now as adults, we can measure the same heart rate variability. And what we know is it correlates, if it's coherent, it correlates with our parasympathetic system being being in balance with the sympathetic. It's a calm, alert state where we can rest and heal and thrive. So to me, it's no surprise that this device actually changed my heart rate variability and coherence. Uh, again, I don't know why, but it's amazing to me because <laughs> it did. And I have the objective data to prove it um, because that shows me that it had an effect on my sympathetic and parasympathetic system. So tell me a little bit about your experience with the company. I'm sure you've heard all kinds of stories and any yeah. stories or um, or even your experience with um, healing with this device? Yes, yes, of course. I mean, uh, you uh, you mentioned the word coherency, which I would say it's uh, it's it's the crucial word, like coherency, because the the field that Samovedic is creating is uh, is like a coherent space, uh, or it's 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 a space that is allowing our bodies or oh, not only our bodies and i can get back to the, that later you know to to try to regenerate faster to start the self-healing processes so so what what the users of somovedic are experiencing uh most what are the the top five uh like like feedbacks or benefits is uh, number one is the improved sleep that that's what you experienced then uh, it's the energy levels during the day. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Mental clarity, uh, getting rid of brain fog. Uh, uh, like especially women experience fewer headaches or migraines, and uh, and feelings of uh, calmness and peace. So this, you know, this would be the the most common uh, basically experiences that that we are getting from 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 hundreds and, and thousands of, of customers, and. Why I mentioned why I mentioned the, the word coherency is 
because it is such those are such different things that only if you you know create let's say like a coherent space uh it has different effects on on on, on different people so it's improving from sleep to to lowering the levels of free radicals to lowering headaches so so it's it's basically allowing the body to 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 fix whatever the, there's wrong that makes so much sense because we know physiologically when we're in fight or flight, which is a trauma response, um, we can't heal. We're, our bodies are, so what we do, it's like back in the days when a lion came and we'd run, our body was not made to heal wounds while we're running. It puts all resources into getting away. So it sends blood to the periphery away from vital organs. And it sends blood away from even the brain, because all you're doing is just reacting with the um, base of your brain, which is just a, a reactionary versus a cognitive frontal lobe kind of thing. And so when we get back to whether it's dealing with our old childhood trauma, or working with a therapist or um, relaxing or being in nature or being around water or um, resting or um, enjoying a meal leisurely without rushing. All of these things are things that we can do to increase that parasympathetic system, which is where we heal. So to me, again, it makes perfect sense. Anything, any technology that will allow our body to go from fight or flight into a more parasympathetic, sorry, parasympathetic state, we will experience more healing. And this is the most I've been like I said, I've been doing this a long time, 20 years in functional medicine. And one of the most profound lessons that I've learned, I can do infections and toxins all day long. But if that person that I'm sitting in front of that patient is in fight or flight and has sympathetic overdrive from post-traumatic stress, from mold, from toxins, or from infections, there's no way they can heal. So any way that I can help that patient get into a rest and a, a healing parasympathetic state um, is profoundly beneficial. It may be the most beneficial medicine that I do versus a pill, right? Yeah, 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 definitely. So, so yeah, I mean, we have uh, we have data uh, from various labs, various countries showing that it's improving the speed of cell regeneration in an EMF environment and non-EMF environment, uh, that it's uh, improving HRV, just like in your case. And of course, like we do have lots of biohackers or not even biohackers, but basically people sending us screenshots from their Aura apps. Yeah, I how, how deep sleep went, went through the roof or, or HRV increased or, or uh, yeah, the, these sort of things. So, so yeah, so we have uh, that it's uh, lowering the levels of, of, of free radicals that uh, people from, from, uh, from questionnaires, the doctors uh, who are using, uh, we found out that people really just feel optimistic. They feel, feel calmer, more, more in peace. So we do have these uh various various data but of course like uh for some what's uh what's even you know more let's say exciting or interesting are, are, are the stories you know like that that various people are are experiencing so you know me for myself when it was in 2018 when when uh, i first time basically visited a friend of mine and he had this glowing uh colorful lamps all over his place <laughs> so uh, so yeah i i asked him like like what is it and he's like yeah that's some of it and he's doing this and that and uh you know like i had a also uh like i call it transformation i was uh you know high blood pressure cholesterol brain fog and, and everything i had to really change my whole diet and lifestyle and then it went like magically away in within a few months the, and doctors were not able to like fix me in within like in three or four years and but this helped and since then you know i had this calling uh, in a way that i would like to also like help people you know on their on their on their journey like just by like sharing my story or 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 whatever i i found out and uh, when i uh, when i stumbled upon some of it i said like yes this is it this is what i would like to do because i was always thinking like on a, on a scale i would like to help many people so i said like yeah this is the, the great product you know like it's product uh, you can, we, we can like distribute it all over the world, uh, and, and it could help many people. So, and, and so when I asked him, like, like, what are, what are, what are the stories? And he said, like, you know, like there are really 
really like let's say crazy or interesting stories about that uh you know he gave it to a, a friend of his and and uh like he started to you know he said like i had to run three times to toilet a, a day you know which was oh, never the happening yeah, yeah the <laughs> details, yes the detox was, was was just happening uh or uh, we had a, we had a, a car distributor and he had two uh office assistants and he placed uh, he placed the somavedic there and 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 they were you know uh they didn't know what it is and they were let's say like let's say fighting a bit you know but but it, it was okay and he placed the somavedic there and he said and he called us we said like you wouldn't believe it but they stopped fighting you know that there are no they're, they're, they are not arguing but what was what was uh even more um, like like funnier was that about uh, about about after two years uh one of the leds stopped working which means there's something wrong with the somovedi and one of them uh approached uh, our our uh, well our, our colleague or another colleague a friend the the car distributor and and told him you know there's something's wrong with the device on the table because uh, we are fighting again <laughs> you know so wow. yeah and they, yes and they didn't know like they, yeah. they had no idea well, what's what's the sum of it yeah. so this was yeah this is just 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 one of the, the stories another one a uh, really great one we have from uh from our advisor from silicon valley and uh and uh so we've sent him one uh you know to to just to test it out mainly he wanted to test the water you know how the water yeah. for water tastes and, and everything and after about two months he started to send me photos of uh of of leaves in his plants uh in his living room he said like you're right like they are two to three times bigger than they used to be like we've never experienced this so and and we get this we get this uh let's say quite often from from uh from people that their plants are bigger or grow faster or anything like that but but uh the the, the special thing with 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 uh with him was that he had a parrot that had uh, no no feather no it was without feathers a bald so, parrot <laughs> yeah for the for the yeah for the last five years they had been from 10 years or something like that but for the last five years he had no feather feathers and uh and he said that within those two months the feather grew back wow and he said like we didn't change anything like we are just like the same food same water like nothing changed the only thing that came into our home was was the somovedic unfortunately then it flew away because they were used to that it, that it can't fly and yeah. they were sad but but yes you know so it's not the field that the somovedic is creating is not only affecting us but whatever living organisms are are in its reach wow i love that the bald parrot that grew feathers and flew away <laughs> Yeah, yeah. <laughs> great. And, and again, you can't make this up like the parrot and the plants. And again, I know this works like there's no doubt in my mind. I would never be talking about it if it didn't. I have the objective data. But for people who are out there like what in the world? This doesn't make sense. I, I want you to know that like this, this kind of energetic stuff really has a potential effect to heal. And I think some I really believe in the next decade, functional medicine, integrative medicine, what I do is going to have to really embrace some of these things that seem mystical or mysterious because this is where at the cellular level, things really change. And again, I could get vitamin C all day long and it wouldn't have the power of getting someone to a better heart rate variability or vitamin D or whatever those things are. So I love, love those stories. Yeah, um, yeah. And again, I'm sure you have many more patients. Um, yeah, yeah. I mean, you know, it's, uh, it's, uh, it's when we are talking about the field, it's really basically hard to measure it like there are almost no devices how you can measure the 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 field because you know it's yeah. you can't measure it in in hertz uh it's no like a harmonious frequency i mean like like the fibonacci right. or something like that but what we can do is the measure the effects uh of of that field yes. you know because yes. we can tell the before and after yes. but i'm pretty sure that uh uh like there we do have uh in in 
in uh, like we are measuring it uh, with bioresonance devices and there are some clinics in LA and San Francisco that that are able to 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 measure this but again the, it is the the effects of of uh, of the yeah. somebody not the field uh, not the field if, itself that we, makes sense because I had no way to measure except for my own heart rate variability I was like okay and and one night is one thing right but after night after night when I saw it was consistent I was like okay this is a significant and it was statistically significant it wasn't just like two you know yeah <laughs> yeah, yeah yeah so we we did have you know because you know like people uh, i always try to tell people you know we do have uh we do have very interesting data we have very interesting testimonials but even for for some you know they are not sure if if to go for it for, or, or not and we do have a 60 day money back guarantee because i was going to ask that i was literally going to say well what about could people try it because for me yes. I, that's what i have to do with anything i talk about i was like i gotta try it and there's been a lot of things i've rejected because i didn't notice anything um so that's amazing that you have that Yes, yes. So basically, it's, it's risk free for anybody, you know, to, to test it out and, and decide if yes, this is worth the money or this is this is not worth it. And they can just uh, send it back and we'll just refund them because so, uh, send them a refund because there was uh, one chiropractor in LA. Uh, we've sent him we've sent him the the, the somatic and uh, and after about four weeks, uh, at that time, I was in San Francisco, it was in 2019. I had a call with him and and he was teasing me a bit and he said you know like you're right it's uh you know i don't feel anything uh i'm not sure it's if it's working i said like yeah well this is also happening some people don't feel its effects and then that's that's fine it doesn't mean it's not working it's just you you can't feel it but of course you can send it back or anything like that but and he said like no, no, no. I mean, I don't feel anything, but my wife, she, she loves it. She sleeps better, you know, and he said like her mood is better. I'm not giving the unit. Okay, I'm ready. <laughs> I love it. That's great. Yeah. Oh my gosh. And yes, there is something too. I will say like those of us, like I'm an empath and a highly sensitive person. So I actually really notice homeopathics and things that are very gentle and maybe more in the energetic nature. So I am one who notices these, these things, but um, even so, like you said, there's benefits probably even if you don't notice it, um, talk about the water because the structuring of water is very interesting. Um, I actually, in the beginning, set my water right beside it and, and uh, drank that the next day. Tell us just a little bit about the structured water uh, benefits. Yes. So, you know, we structured water is the most bioavailable state of water that, that we can get. And unfortunately, now we can find it only uh, only in nature, which makes sense <laughs> in flowing rivers. Uh, it's not in in tap water, plastic or glass uh, glass glass bottles and um, anything like that. Uh, it it just loses its, its its structure. And and the way how you can you can I mean tell under a microscope is that if you would freeze it. Uh, the shape of the water crystal would be, let's say, cha chaotic. It wouldn't be yes. like a nice, nice shape. Uh, but if the water is structured, uh, it would have very like symmetric shape, very like snowflake shape. Yes. And uh, and the pioneer in in uh, in this was the doctor Japanese scientist Masaru Emoto, who who you know made it more to the mainstream uh, about about the the the, the structure water effects and how emotion even emotions are are changing the water and the structuring the water so uh so yes yeah, stru drinking structured water is is the the best water we can be drinking in terms of uh, uh bioavailability and hydration and uh the way how some of it is doing it is the same way how it's basically mitigating the emf effects or or is positively affecting like living organism it's the field of the somatic field that is structuring the water that means you only basically place a jug of, jug of water next to the device and uh, in about 15 20 minutes it's structured and the way how you can tell is usually uh, that the tastes taste is different it's more more smooth more 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 silky you just you just 
like lots of people can taste some not of course but but some really can taste can taste the difference and uh, one example uh one of uh, one of our colleagues when she she was starting with us uh she said you know like uh I had a lot of migraines and uh, I was uh, drinking like a gallon of water and they are still feeling thirsty. And we gave her the uh, some of Eddie and she started structured water. And she said, you know, like I'm drinking half of what I used to drink. Uh, like the migraines are gone and I don't feel thirsty anymore, you know? So, so this is like an example when you drink uh, the right type of water, I would say. And this is huge. I deal with a lot of mold toxicity. And one of the things that mold does to patients is affect their hydration regulation. So they drink and they pee and they drink and they pee and they can't stay hydrated. So I bet this would be a really great thing um, for those patients. Um, well, this is just um, so exciting to hear from you and to hear all the background. Um, I put a link wherever you're listening at to the podcast to um, the website. Um, so you can check these out yourself. Take a look, try them out 60 days for free. Um, I have the Amber unit and I love it, um, but there are other units and there's some of them that are incredibly affordable. So the, the, the more affordable ones, they still, they just do a smaller space. Is that right? Like less crystals. So if someone wants to try, maybe can't afford the, the, the biggest unit or the most expensive one, they can try this for just a few hundred dollars. Yes, yes, yes. We have uh, like a portable ones, you know, that uh, are de designed for cars or, or hotel rooms. And then we have, the, we call it like the essential models uh, that start at, at the $700. And, and uh, yeah, the best seller, the, 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 yeah, the all in one, the best power to ratio is the, is the Vedic. Uh, and, and yeah, so, so that's where we get, uh, most, most reviews and, and, and feedbacks and everything. Cause it's really like the, yeah, the, the most versatile, I would say it has, it's strong enough to mitigate a 5G. It has the, it has the, uh, water structuring capabilities and the field that it's creating is, uh, about 100 feet radius like uh, up, down, left, right. Uh, so, and it is penetrating uh, like walls. So uh, in case you are thinking about where to place, ideally place the, the device, it would be somewhere in the middle of your apartment or home. And usually uh, one is enough, one for the whole home is enough. And in, in case you would like to have it like closer, then you can put it closer to the bedroom. Uh, yeah. yeah. Wow, well, this is absolutely fantastic. Thank you so much for your time today and the information. And um, like I said, I'll be sure and link up to um, your website so that people can learn more. I'm always grateful to someone like you who's out there with a calling to do something that makes a difference. So thank you. And I'm so glad we met. <laughs> yeah, thank you. Thank you, Dr. Jill, for having me. I, I really enjoyed it. And, and yeah. You are so welcome. <laughs>